Douglas Avenue. Number 558, a house with a story to tell. This is where I was uh, first brought up uh, in 1936. And uh, we lived here until 1950. Ernie Ferris remembers it well. At 14, his father arrived home one day from work at the General Electric plant with bags of cheap insulation. My dad uh, bought some surplus uh, asbestos material, which uh, they used in the GE. And we brought it in bags here, and uh, we took it up into our attic and spread it around to improve the, the heat loss. And uh, never knew any different about any hazards. Or, so. For decades, GE employees around the neighborhood used the recycled material to line their houses. Peterborough's been home to General Electric for more than a century, building large machine engines, employing thousands. For a Canadian General Electric, progress is our most important product. But over the generations, as people have moved, families come and go, no one has kept track of which houses across town have asbestos hidden in the ceilings and walls. Be careful of these stairs, they're a little steep. Jim Dufresne found the white fluffy stuff in his attic when he began renovations. How deep was it in here? It was right up to my waist. I had a hard time getting through the window myself, and when I did go through, I was standing in three feet of it. That's best. Just... He knew instantly it came from the local GE factory. I spent 42 years of my life in there. Jim was a laborer alongside John Lewington. It was their job back in the 60s and 70s to climb up into GE's air filtration system every few months to gather up loose asbestos like this. To be sold as cheap insulation, they'd scoop it up with bare hands, truckloads at a time. They called it plucking the goose. Plucking the goose was going up onto the roof. You would pick up your car, your asbestos, stuff that into the barrel and wheel it down to the side of the building and lower it down into a truck. They didn't know then what we know now, that this kind of asbestos can cause cancer and be deadly if it gets in your lungs. There was no protective gear other than a pair of coveralls. There was no face mask, no nothing. There was nothing ever said that it was cancer causing or anything like that. Peterborough has prospered thanks to GE. Generating annual sales of $5 billion. But last year, after 125 years, the factory shut down, leaving behind a toxic mess. The site is leaching PCBs into the soil and area waterways. Hundreds of workers remain sick or have died from chemicals at the plant. And the asbestos, GE several years ago, denied ever selling it when it was raised in the local newspaper. We are unaware of any GE Canada practice allowing or condoning sales or allowing employees to take material home, a GE spokesperson said. I looked at it for a couple of seconds and I, I was so mad I was almost shaken. Dufresne and others who for decades loaded the trucks couldn't believe it. They'd for years unwittingly helped to spread the hazardous material across town and now their employer was denying it. They went hunting for proof in the local archives and found a copy of GE's factory newspaper from 1956. There was an ad in the paper in the works news, if you wanted to insulate your attic, they've got asbestos you can insulate your attic with, and it's, I think it was three cents a pound. 1,500 pounds a month with advice. Installed between the ceiling joists in uninsulated homes, asbestos fluff helps to hold the heat in and cold out. I was so mad because they lied about it. I, I've got the proof right in there, Dave. GE still doesn't acknowledge it ever sold its waste asbestos, but we've learned the company is quietly cleaning it up. They started a program to remove it from homes, but it's only been shared through word of mouth. GE's never told the public. Removal is dangerous work requiring certified inspectors who often find the material buried in attics under many layers. Left undisturbed, it poses little risk, but if stirred up or someone does a renovation, inhales it, it can be deadly. And GE's asbestos is particularly hazardous. Lab tests can easily identify it. While most old insulations that used to be sold over the counter contain three to 5%, GE's contains 70% asbestos. GE will now pay to remove it. The company will hire specialists to seal off homes, conduct air quality tests, 
even put owners up in hotels, all of it costing thousands, in some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars per house. But most people in Peterborough have no idea about the GE program. The company has declined our request for an interview, but in a statement GE says, if residents believe their homes may have insulation with asbestos, they may call the GE Canada Environmental Programs Information Line. And for the first time, they're offering a 1-800 number for people to call. So far, GE has fixed 24 homes. If they've only done a couple of dozen, then that's just not even the tip of the iceberg. Keith Riel is a city councillor who years ago headed the GE Workers Union. He's angry that the company has kept its cleanup hush-hush. They should be advertising it. I mean, there's hundreds of homes here. I, I think it, uh, it behooves them to do the right thing. If homeowners don't know about GE's cleanup, you'd think Peterborough's medical officer of health would. But beyond fixing a few houses over a decade ago, she had no idea GE is running this program until we told her. It's a full program, mm -hmm. but they've not told people about mm. it. Like it's not some of the so people. So a best that we, kept secret. Sorry. <laughs> I like a best kept secret. Well, it actually, it's very interesting because this today, this morning, we had a call from a member of the public asking about asbestos in their home. So people do continue to call us with concerns or inquiries about asbestos. And uh, certainly, um, I think if there still is a remediation program available, that this is something that we, we definitely should be telling people about. Especially since Peterborough has a high rate of asbestos cancer, 40% higher than the rest of the province. Back on Douglas Avenue, where Ernie Ferris grew up, GE's been busy. They've cleaned up at least two houses, including Ernie's. A surprise to him when we told him. Several owners later, GE found that asbestos that he and his father laid down decades ago and cleaned it out, leaving Ernie all these years later with a new question. Well, my mom died with what they called was asthma. I just wonder whether it was asthma or whether it was something related to the asbestos. Jim Dufresne doesn't need to wonder. Long and active guy, his 42 years at the factory have taken their toll. I've had prostate cancer. They took a tumor off my bladder about three or four years ago. Uh, I got COPD. What effect has the asbestos had on you? The, the asbestos? Uh, my breathing. Now retired, Dufresne struggles to get outdoors. He's got chronic lung problems from asbestos exposure working at GE. With a river next to his house, he still likes to fish and think and hope that GE will somehow make things right. Because it's wrong what they've done. They should be responsible for fixing everybody's house that they sold it to. He hopes by speaking out that health officials and General Electric will be forced once and for all to track down all the asbestos that for years he and other workers helped spread across the city. Hey! Dave Seglin, CBC News, Peterborough, Ontario.